What's that? It's UTX Untamed Rush here, bringing you a BF3 weapon guide, and today I'll be covering the PP19 Russian submachine gun. So let's get started. So in order to use the PP19, you gotta unlock it, right? So the first thing you're gonna want is to have the Back to Car Can expansion pack. Once you have that, you're gonna need to arm 10 MCOMs, capture 10 flags, and have two hours of game time played on the map Strike at Car Can. The fastest and easiest way I can tell you to do this is go over to your server browser, go to the filters, select the map strike the car can, then play Rush, Conquest, vice versa, however you want to do it. And by that time, by the time you get 10 MCOMs armed and 10 cap, um, flags captured, you should have 2 hours of game time played on there. And then once you unlock this, you're going to unlock it for all 4 kits, and that's Assault, Engineer, Support, and Recon. The PP-19 is a good gun, even though it has its fair share of setbacks, and one of these setbacks is its reload time. While it doesn't have the slowest reload time with rounds still in the clip at 2.5 seconds, it does have the slowest reload time when empty at 3.8 seconds. It has 55 rounds in the clip, so you really don't have to worry about that too much being caught on empty, but it's good to take note of that when you are caught in a gunfight and you, are, and you have no rounds in the clip and you gotta reload. Just switch to your handgun, it'll probably be a better bet than just stopping and reloading. Another setback to this gun is its lack of attachments. Unlike other weapons in the game that have 18 attachments, the PP-19 only has 12. And two of these that are notable and unavailable to you are the heavy barrel and foregrip. Now the gun has mainly an upward moderate recoil with a left to right kick. So you mainly want to learn how to quickly like burst fire the weapon at medium range and this will help to make up for the, the lack of those two attachments in the game. Like most SMGs, this gun's not good at long range gunfights and that's due mainly to its low rate of damage per bullet at 17 health point damage per bullet at close range and 10 health point damage at long range. You basically just want to stick to maps that are real close quarters and have tight quarters in it. Also, you want to have a lot of cover. So maps like Operation Metro, Grand Bazaar, uh, even Operation Firestorm, as long as you can get in within like the oil refinery area and the buildings, just use a lot of cover and stick to close quarter gunfights and that's where this gun's going to shine. Long range it just takes way too many bullets. It's bad enough it takes 6 bullets to take somebody down at close range. At long range it's going to take you 10, maybe even more, depending on the distance of the target. So the PP-19 might not be the best choice, but it's still a good choice of a weapon. For me, I like to use the suppressor with the laser sight, only because I'm always rushing and I find myself behind the enemy all the time. And, uh, you know, I, for sights, it has really good iron sights. The, the, the iron sights are not as bad as other weapons in the Back to Car Can expansion pack. Uh, but I do use holographic, and as you see in the video, I do like to use the ACOG a lot. Only because, I don't know, I feel real comfortable with the ACOG for some reason. Uh, I use it on other guns, and um, like I said before, just stick to close quarter maps. Uh, if you find yourself in a white, lar a large wide open area, just move from cover to cover, decrease the distance between your target, because I'm telling you, this gun does not shine at long distance. So you really just want to just cut down the distance between you and the target, and get as close to them as possible, and you'll come out the victor on the fight. Um, you know, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know your thoughts if you have used the weapon. If you haven't unlocked it, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't be afraid to drop a like. And if it's your first time seeing this video, uh, come through, check out my channel. If you like what you see, sub up. If not, it's all good. And basically, till next time, I'm out. Peace. Oh, and also, if you guys did enjoy this video and you do want to see more, just leave in the comment section below what weapon do you want to see. The one that I see you guys request the most. I will cover, and if you feel I didn't cover something in the video, uh, let me know, and I'll make sure I include that in the next one. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.